Many of the people with the best controlled diabetes are those who exercise regularly. Federal guidelines say for children and adolescents to exercise one hour or more a day, with most of that time spent in moderate to intense exercise. Exercise is strongly recommended for all our patients with diabetes, since exercise lowers blood sugar and helps people feel better. It also helps maintain proper body weight, keep the heart rate and blood pressure lower, and blood fat levels normal. Exercise also improves insulin sensitivity and may help keep normal blood circulation to the feet later in life. I play school sports. I've been on varsity soccer and varsity tennis my freshman year, and I play select soccer and select tennis. So I'm pretty busy with sports. I do Taekwondo four days a week. I'm on um, a competition team. Soccer, I love soccer. I love running, I love playing. Um, volleyball, track, um, anything. I mean, I can do everything everybody else is doing. Since exercise lowers blood sugar, you might need an extra snack before increased activity. A good rule of thumb is to eat a snack consisting of 15 grams of carbohydrates for every 30 minutes of intense exercise or play. Running, biking hard, and swimming are examples of intense exercise. Bounce houses, trampolines, and water parks can also use up a lot of sugar. Depending on the person and the activity, having a blood sugar at least 100 to 150 before intense exercise, such as swimming, is a good idea. I think it's just being careful and pre-treating. I mean, as long as you know how your body reacts to exercise, you should be fine. I, I normally have, I always have juice in my bag and I always make sure that I'm above about 150 to go play sports because I know I'll drop really fast. I make sure I pre-treat for low blood sugars um, before I go into an active class. Um, I check like in breaks before we start like more intense stuff, I make sure to check before then. Like, I'll, if I feel shaky, I'll say, well, can I sit out? Because I need to take care of myself. And they'll go right ahead. And I'll just sit down, and they'll get my glucometer, which is a thing you have to check your finger with, and put a strip in. And um, I check myself. My mom has snacks. And if I, I eat that Starburst or whatever, does, and that's fast-acting juice, and once I feel better, I'll say, is it okay that I play again? And my mom will go, yeah, sure. I'll just go right back to playing. Here are some suggestions for exercising safely. Eat or decrease insulin before heavy exercise. Have extra snacks available. Always carry sugar. Check blood sugars more often during exercise and learn how to adjust for the activity. Don't exercise when ketones are present. Wear a medical ID. If you have a problem with delayed hypoglycemia, consider taking less insulin at the next meal. But most of all, have fun. Find an exercise you enjoy and make it a part of your life.